Welcome to a short introduction of the AccuSizer SIS Single Particle Optical Sizing System. The AccuSizer SIS system can be configured various ways, but they always include a sensor, a counter, a sampler, and the software and computer that operates the system. The system can be configured with a single sensor, typically the LE sensor, to measure from 0.5 to 400 microns. Or we can have a dual sensor system, which can measure down to 150 nanometers up to over 20 microns. The results can be displayed in up to 512 size channels, and depending on the syringe we use, we can have sample volumes measured up to 100 ml down to 150 microliters. For very small samples, we can actually recover the sample so it can be used for further analysis. This is the ideal system for many USP tests, including 788 for parenterals, 789 for ophthalmics, and 787 for therapeutic proteins. This instrument can also be used as a general particle size analyzer for low concentration samples that do not require dilution. This shows a basic operation of light obscuration or light extinction sensor. As the particle passes through the light source, it generates a pulse. The height of this pulse is proportional to the size of the particles. The detector output is fed to a pulse height analyzer, the counter. A calibration curve is used to equate pulse height to particle size. And one at a time, we build the particle size distribution, both the particle size and the concentration in particles per ml. In the lower left corner, we see the basic schematic for the measurement zone. There are two sensors, the extinction and the scattering sensor. The extinction sensor is used for larger particles, let's say over about one and a half microns. These particles pass through the light source and generate a negative pulse, VLE, which is proportional to the size of the particles. When we want to measure smaller particles, we actually need to use a scattering sensor. As the smaller particles pass through the sensor, they scatter light, generating VLS, the voltage from the light scattering, which is a positive pulse. We take these two interactions and create a composite pulse, which then is fed to the pulse height analyzer, the counter. The counter uses a calibration curve to equate pulse height to particle size. The LE400 sensor, which is a combination light extinction and light scattering sensor, can measure from 0.5 to 400 microns at concentrations up to 9,000 particles per ml. The upper concentration limit is limited by the coincidence error, coincidence error defined as when more than one particle at a time is present in the sensing zone. If we have more than one particle at a time in the sensing zone, as you see in the lower right, then those two particles are counted as one larger particle. This combination of light extinction and light scattering is the basis of the single particle optical sizing technique. This gives us the best of both worlds to individually size and count particles across a wide dynamic range. The result you see here is a mixture of 11 polystyrene latex standards. The AccuSizer can resolve each of these peaks accurately and resolve it to baseline. To measure below 0.5 microns, we now have a new technology, the FX Nano Sensor. This new sensor incorporates a more powerful laser, which we focus. So this is a focused beam sensing technology. We still have both an extinction and a scattering sensor. We take these two interactions, feed that to the pulse height analyzer, and can now measure down to 150 nanometers up to some size over 10 microns. Since we have a focused beam and a smaller inspection zone, we can now measure at higher concentrations without being concerned with coincidence error. We can measure up over a million particles per ml. A typical application for the SIS system is USP 788 testing of parenterals. We have two software packages, what we'll call the research software on the left and the 21 CFR part 11 compliance software on the right. First, we need to define something about the samples we are measuring, the number of containers, the volume per container. We need to define the number of poles, the volume of each pole, and also a tear and prime volume. We can also define here the pass-fail criteria of particle per mL at user-defined size ranges, but typically at 10 and 25 microns. We hit go, and then the system will begin measuring the samples. In this short video, we see the AccuSizer SIS in action. The sample tube is placed into the sample. Once we hit go, the syringe then aspirates the sample up through the sensor.
and takes the number of pulls that has been programmed for the defined measurement. These are typical results in the left in the research software, on the right the 21 CFR Part 11 compliance software. We can report the number of particles per ml at the user defined size ranges, typically 10 and 25, but also at other size ranges as desired. We report the pass-fail criteria limit in particles per ml at these size ranges and automatically get a pass-fail indication for the sample that was measured. In the lower left you can see that we can report the size distribution just in the user defined channels or using all 512 channels to use this as a particle size analyzer. The system can also be used for USP787 testing of therapeutic proteins. The pass-fail criteria for this test is also at 10 and 25 microns, but we can also measure down at smaller size ranges where the data is much more interesting in understanding protein aggregation phenomenon. We can measure down to 150 nanometers with this sensor. The data you see on the right is for IgG protein in the upper right before and after filtration, in the lower right before and after the sample was heat stressed. In both cases you'll get the concentration in particles per ml before and after the sample has been modified. We can measure very small sample volumes of proteins down to 150 microliters, and remember the sample can be recovered. We can measure up at very high concentrations, which is important because whenever you measure at smaller particle sizes, there's always a higher concentration of particles. We can report the data in all 512 size channels to best understand what's going on at different size ranges. This system complies with USP787 testing, but also can be used as a powerful research tool to understand what's going on at smaller particle sizes. The AccuSizer SIS system is a liquid particle counter and a powerful particle size analyzer. It's the highest performance system in terms of dynamic range, in terms of accuracy, precision, and being able to measure very small sample volumes. It exceeds all USP requirements and with a single system can both be used for pass-fail quality control testing and as a research tool. Please visit the Documentation Download Center on the website if you'd like to download documents specific to USP 78, 787 and other uses of the AccuSizer SIS system. Thank you for your attention.